you are in for a real treat this week. This is going to be a very fun experiment all winter long in Chicago. This is our palette to work with. Just check this out. The next time you see this space, it's gonna be completely transformed. It was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. And I'm at Aqualand in St. Charles, Illinois, the water garden capital of the world. And it feels like the night before Christmas. It's Sunday, it's the only time of the week that nobody's here working. And we have Jack Haryu from Atlantis Water Gardens in New Jersey bringing his entire team in. And he is the very first of eight Aquascape Artists of the Year coming to Chicago to build the very first sandbox studio design of a water feature. You are in for a real treat this week because Jack, I guarantee you, is gonna hit it out of the park. There's what this used to look like, truck bays, and here's what it looks like now. Right behind that curtain, behind this faux wall, we have a backyard. This is going to be a very fun experiment all winter long in Chicago. This is our palette to work with. Just check this out. Incredible, I see the guys already have their equipment staged here. And Jack's gonna move in, and trust me when I say, this area right here is gonna be completely transformed over the next four days. This is a warehouse, but we have a house actually built in here. And uh, this is where Jack's gonna do his thing. I'm gonna give you a quick sneak peek right from here of what this is gonna look like in a couple days. Okay, that's it. That's all you get. Normally in the wintertime, we'd be hosting the Aquascape and Don Academy, but with coronavirus, we had to pivot. And that's why we decided to invite all of the Aquascape Artists of the Year of this entire winter to come in with their crews and actually transform three truck bays that we have in our warehouse and let them do whatever they want, grab whatever materials they want from our warehouse and do this stuff. Every single thing that they do is going to be chronicled on the Team Aquascape YouTube channel, the Team Aquascape Facebook, the Team Aquascape Instagram, but for my channel, which is all about living the Aquascape lifestyle, where I get to go out and inspire people to live the Aquascape lifestyle by visiting certified Aquascape contractors all over the world. This is where I'm always going to debut each and every week of the Artist of the Year. I can't wait to see what Jack is going to do in this place. The next time you see this space, it's going to be completely transformed. Jack was our 2014 Aquascape Artist of the Year. If there's one thing I've learned about Jack, everything he does, he does 110%. He brought most of his team here and his whole family who all work for the family business. Joanne, Jack's wife, was great because besides running the office, she is a retail queen, running one of the most meticulous and organized retail stores I've ever seen anywhere. She lent a hand and her expertise to our own store while she was here. The Haryu twins both graduated from high school last year and are already experienced operators in their own right. 
Before Jack became a pond guy, he was a union operator out of New York and New Jersey. So running equipment runs in the family's blood. Not only did the guys spend every day killing it in the sandbox, they spent every night trying to kill one another in our volleyball court. Long days working and long nights playing are always the formula with the Atlantis crew. To see the evolution of Jack's design that despite having a month to prepare for, he basically put together the night before is a testament to his artistic abilities. The blank slate that every artist comes into with the Sandbox Studio is both refreshing as well as overwhelming. So many things need to be considered from the viewing angles from both the main floor of the house as well as the views from the upstairs windows. There's the additional challenge of the Shed Steers Man Cave that each artist will have to envision how their water feature will interact with. And of course, one must always consider how the client will traverse the space, making things not only pleasant to the eye, but functional to the inhabitants to navigate. To say the transformation of this space was magical would be an understatement. Wow, oh wow. Taking a flat piece of sandy dirt to a watery paradise in only four days is a testament to the vision, hard work, and artistic chops of the entire Atlantis team. My personal favorite element and the centerpiece of Jack's design is the magnificent custom fountain. Utilizing the Aquascape architectural stack slate walls and intricately cutting the Aquascape spillway bowls into them, he truly created what each Aquascape artist always strives for, a unique work of art, one of a kind custom creation. But of course, there were so many elements that made up this design that utilized every square inch and then some of our Sandbox Studio. Let me know in the comments what your favorite aspect of this design is. And speaking of unique work of art, one of a kind custom creation, here is a sneak peek on artist number four, Mark Harp and Dan Harp from the Pacific Northwest. It's already been three more artists since uh, Jack came in here and every single week we're debuting the stuff on the Team Aquascape vlogs and then it's going to be the reveal on Greg Whitstock the Pond Guy. So we have eight Aquascape Artists of the Year coming in this winter. Every single time we're going to showcase it on the Team Aquascape vlogs and their vlog. So check out Atlantis' vlog. We decided, which I got a lot of heat from people that wanted to see the reveal, we decided to wait till Jack was able to produce his videos. He's got a great channel, Atlantis Water Gardens, that he showcases what he does. So his is debuting, so check that our version of this and check out Jack's version of this as well. And then every single week, we're gonna be showing on the Team Aquascape each new artist. So last week, we had John Adams from Modern Design Aquascaping in Knoxville, and he really created a unique design, fantastic water feature. The second guy, Guy that we had right after Jack was Alan Decker of Decker's Pondscapes in New York. He came out and of course that job was amazing because of how much stone we actually installed for that project. So I'm hoping you guys are loving this stuff. This is a huge investment on Aquascape. Our guys are absolutely in the off season, completely working their tails off and their fannies off back here. But it's for you guys to get inspired to live the Aquascape lifestyle. So please, if you like these things, share these videos because I'm gonna be producing more and more to inspire people to live the Aquascape lifestyle. And at the end, when it's all over and said and done, I'm gonna make one final vlog and people are gonna vote on which one they want in their yard. Stay tuned for all of these things. Check out the Team Aquascape vlogs. Check out the Team Aquascape Facebook and Instagram posts. Check out the artists that are here. And at the very end, we're gonna let you vote on which one you would want in your yard or whatever elements because all of these things can be broken down into simpler forms as well. I love my job. <laughs>